but this whole struggle of the good part of me is trying to correct the bad part of me. This is, this is really the thing of like children's stories. This is like, uh, you know, mythology. In, it, in my harder moments, I have felt completely at war with myself. I'm not sure if anybody here knows that feeling, but it can be incredibly painful. You know, it sounds like uh, the most common way it plays out is what's wrong? And what's wrong with me? What's wrong with this moment? What's wrong with the world? What's wrong with my partner? What's wrong with the people I work with? Whatever, right? We can find fault uh, in every direction. But that there's probably something wrong here, uh, the most penetrating. And in some ways, I thought the practice would deliver me from that. But awareness, it can just give more ammunition to the critic, right? You know, we become aware, and it's not always, it's not just good news, you know, right? It's D, all of the above. I know a lot of us, uh, we drive ourselves pretty hard. Anybody? Anybody? I see three people. All right. <laughs> we do that, right? <laughs> and we do it because we believe somewhere that uh, we're going to get further if we just drive ourselves hard. You know, that if we really let up, who knows what could happen? So we take our cues from this kind of like a driven culture that we're a part of to keep up with the Joneses. But I don't buy it. I don't think that we're better off with this. And when I say that I, this talk is about lowering your expectations, I'm serious. Because the basic idea, that, how I experience it anyway, is that I'm going to withhold love from myself until I act right. When in history has that ever made anybody act right? I see it as a teacher. You know, we have a big sangha in San Francisco. And people come in and they, they, hmm. when you try to tell them that practice is a refuge from this kind of extortion, they just don't believe you. They think this is just another thing that they could either do right or wrong. Either I'm going to get love or I'm not. Either I'm going to be smart or I'm not. It's a real heartbreaker. 